All right, I get it. You're not a man that's going his own way. You're a man that's chasing after pussy. But there's just one problem. You're not really getting any pussy. So, you go on YouTube and you start searching all these confidence hustlers, these dating coaches, these PUAs, and you're gonna learn game. You're gonna be a player. And you're gonna get you all kinds of pussy. I got you, I feel you. I see where you're going with this. You're tired of flogging the dolphin to internet porn. And you're gonna go out and you're gonna get you some hot. What? Juicy. What? Wet. What? Warm. What? Sweet. What? Apple pie. Woo! You turn the camera off and I'll be naked when you come back. How does she smell? Did it push the Take a whiff. Mm, what a scotch, yo. It's the best. Wait at least three days to text her back. Oh yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Make her think that you have like a lot of important shit going on in your life, when really, you're a fucking loser and you don't really have anything going on in your life. You know, you should be able to hit it at least one time before she finds out you're a fucking fraud. At least once, I would expect. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we got. Never lean in while talking to her. Yeah, man, like, if you're trying to be intimate with a woman, you should never get close to her, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I don't even know where they're trying to go with that. I'm sorry. Take your hands out of your pockets. <laughs> uh, I can't even comment on that one. Stop giving direct answers. Bro, you should always beat around the bush. Like you're scared to lick pussy so you eat around the tush. Never use words like hot. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like if you never give her a compliment, she's gonna think you're like, uh, you're, so, you're so many levels above her that like, uh, you don't even compliment girls like her. You only compliment like, Girls that are on the level that you're used to. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, reverse psychology right there. You're gonna trick her into thinking that you're too good for her because in reality, you feel like uh, she's too good for you. But hey, you know, let's, uh, let's just use that one. Yeah, that's, that's a good one, I like that. Okay, so pretty much I forget what I was gonna say here, so I'm just gonna smile and pretend like I did this on purpose. All right, so I'm starting to see what this game stuff is all about, you know. It's just a deceptive tactic to try to trick women into thinking you're an alpha male when really you're a beta male. Okay, well, you know, I get it. I get it. But there's just one thing, okay? You could actually be an alpha male. Like, if you just stop using game, okay? If you just stop using game, you will be an alpha male. Stop playing games, is what I should say. Because there's a big difference between a man that runs game on people. And trust me, if they're running game on women and teaching you how to run game on women, you know, to get pussy, there is a 100% chance that they will run game on you, the fucking viewer, to get your fucking money. I want to talk about the difference here between, you know, running game on women versus playing no games. You know, even if that means you're unsuccessful with women. If you ever feel like you have to put on an act or you have to change the way you are in order to impress somebody that has already predetermined that they're not impressed by you, man, you need to move the fuck on. You you clearly don't value yourself if you're willing to, you know, use deceptive tactics. Just be you. I mean, how hard is that to fucking do? I don't understand like it's like so many guys are so caught in the fucking matrix. And these dating coaches want you to be caught in the matrix. They want you to be, you know, it's pussy on the pedestal. Even though they say it's not, it is. Because you're fucking spending hours a day studying how to fucking be the guy that gets the girls. 
If you're spending hours a day fucking learning shit, you're putting it on a fucking pedestal. There's no doubt about it. You know, you can slice it up however you want and say, no, 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 I'm not putting it on a pedestal. I'm putting these bitches in their place. Yeah, okay, okay. Spending hours a fucking day trying to learn how to fucking get in her pants. You're putting the pussy on a fucking pedestal. You're lying to yourself if you think you're not. I mean, come on, think with your head. We're not stupid, are we? You know, now let's talk about the flip side of having game, having a lot of game. And that is playing no games, right? You're a man that knows what you want. You know, me, I prefer being single. So I can focus on other goals. You know, it's just, to me, that's what I like. But if you're a man that, if, if you are in pursuit of a girlfriend, a wife, even, you know, some pussy with a girl at the bar, you know, what if you just don't play any games? You know what I'm saying? What if you fucking, what were some of these things on here? Okay, what if you, uh, what if you use the word hot, you have your hands in your pockets, you give direct answers, and you're fucking leaning in, and you text her back immediately, okay? That shouldn't make a fucking difference, okay? If you're playing no games, and you're letting her know exactly what the fuck you want, and she rejects you, move on to the fucking next, okay? Because there is no fucking reason for you to fake who you are, and for you to learn deceptive tactics, and manipulating her into believing that you are the kind of man that she actually wants, you know, only to find out three days later that you're not actually that guy. Because, you know, ultimately, what, what impact is that going to have on your self-esteem? If you get to fuck a girl one time, and then she fucking ghosts on you, just deletes you from her life, you know, you're going to start to realize that's all, you, that's all you're worth, is a couple of lies, a quick fuck, and getting dumped. You know what I'm saying? That's where game will get you. That's where game gets you. And these guys that are successful with women, that are telling you if you just do what they do, you'll be successful with women, they're fucking lying to you, man. You're not gonna develop chemistry with a woman, because that's what it comes down to, it's fucking hormones, this is legitimately science, this is chemistry. You're not gonna get her hormones revved up by doing some shit that another dude does, because you're not that other dude. So, my best suggestion to any of you guys is play no fucking games, okay? Play no fucking games whatsoever. You should never have a reason to play games with another person. Unless you're like legitimately competing, like playing basketball or something. You know, or fucking video games, I don't know. But <laughs> there's no reason for social interactions to be a fucking game. Anyways guys, I hope that was somewhat informative. As always, stay MGTOW, but I know most of my viewers probably aren't, so that's why I have no problem, you know, discussing this sort of thing, but that's all I got for now, guys. But there's a catch. Okay, when you do get the girl, you're just going to become an overly emotional beta male. She's going to spend all of your money. She's going to control your life. She's going to try to remove all of your friends from your life. And you're going to live the same life that a dog on a leash 24-7 lives. So I don't see what the point is anyways. You know, I guess, you know, whatever. If that's what you want, if, if you're you're satisfied by the companionship and you know what keep chasing you know what brother I, ho I hope you get what you want but for the rest of us you know men going our own way we're gonna get what we deserve we're gonna go out there and we're gonna earn it we're gonna be ourselves we're not gonna try to learn game be these players <laughs> You know, we're not going to focus, you know, our, the whole meaning of our existence isn't going to revolve around getting women, you know. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out some more videos.